Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a little preview and first look at iOS 5 running on my iPhone 4. So, this is actually the full version of iOS 5. I downloaded it from the link that will be in the video's description. The link in the video's description will give you an article that was posted on LockerGnome.com, which shows you how to get the full version of iOS 5 that is going to be released on October the 12th before it is released. So, the date of recording this video is October the 8th, as you can see here and we're running iOS 5 completely on my phone. And just to show you guys that I'm not bullshitting you, here's my about, and as you can see here under version, it says version 5.0. And this is the iPhone 4 16 gigabyte, by the way. So we're running the iPhone 4 16 gigabyte with iOS 5. As you can see here, it doesn't look extremely different than iOS 4. It looks just like a normal iOS 4. But as you can see here, there's a couple of key differences. Down here, we have an icon for music. And if I go over here, we also have an icon for video, which if you guys don't know, on the previous versions of iOS for the iPhone, they've all been combined into one icon just that says iPod, but now they've been separated. So you can actually make this thing look more like an iPod. And also, the one feature that I've been really, really wanting to get that, that I didn't have to jailbreak for would be the new notification system. So if I just go ahead and slide from the top, as you can see here, here's the new notifications menu. But as you can see, I don't have any notifications right now. That's because I just restored my phone. As you can see here, we also have the weather, and I believe this is like some kind of stocks. And you can even go ahead and uh, preview your five-day forecast like this. Or you can go back to the weather that there is right now. So in reality, there's no need for the weather application that comes with the phone. You can just go ahead and swipe down from the notification center. And if we go over here, the same spotlight search, it's pretty much the same. Nothing new has changed there. And apart from this, here's a new app called Newsstand, which basically lets you download magazines from the iTunes App Store. We have an app called Reminders, which basically just acts as another note-taking application. Very simple, very standard. And uh, let's go ahead and see the multitasking bar. That hasn't really changed that much. Everything is pr still pretty much under the hood. And let's go back to settings and show you some of the changes there. We have a couple of new sliding buttons, location services, and all that other kind of stuff. iCloud, which is apparently supposed to be like your online backup, like store all your stuff in the cloud. I, however, didn't use this because well, you know, I never used iCloud before, so I think I might start using it, might not, who knows. And hold on, if we go down here, we can even go to storage and backup, which gives you all these options, which I'm not going to go over. But something else that's really interesting is that Twitter has actually been integrated in with iOS 5, which I think is pretty nice. I haven't actually had the chance to test this out, so I think it needs you to install the normal Twitter application. So let me just get out of here, and I have to type in my password. So let's type in my password. And <laughs> my password was incorrect, so let's just keep going. And now we should be installing the Twitter application for iOS. Let's just keep it going. And then once that's done, we should have built-in Twitter integration, which I'm curious to see how it works. So we have Twitter, which I guess now we need to sign in. So let me just try and go ahead and sign in back with the settings application. So bear with me here. Okay, and now we're signing into Twitter. Okay, and so now we're installed in with Twitter, and now let's see how this works. So let me go over to, let's say, Photos, and say I want to tweet something out. So let's just tweet out um, this shark picture right here, challenge accepted. And let's see, we go to Tweet. And it'll bring up this, and we can write a tweet about it, and it will tweet out the picture, which I think is really really nice and uh, let's see if it'll work with something else like for example Safari why am I in Wikipedia for an unknown word oh well we can also tweet out different web links and then I'll bring up this and I think that's pretty cool because you can just have straight Twitter integration 
right in your phone. And other than that, I can't really see any other differences that are in iOS 5. All I can see is the Twitter integration, the new applications, and the, uh, the notification center. But I'm pretty sure I've missed some stuff. There's probably a ton of stuff that's new that I just haven't gotten a chance to find yet. This is only my first impressions about a couple minutes after installing this. But anyway, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And if you have any other videos you want to see from me, feel free to comment down below or email me at a 110 at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and all that yada, yada, yada. The links will be down below. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.